My name's Tom Jennings and I'm a traditional woodcarver. Nice. I like the tap. This film shows me teaching a group of artists how to carve a spoon at the Pods community allotment in Coventry. There's a lot of anxiety in the world at the moment. Life can feel very fast and complicated and becoming more and more involved with social media and things which cause us stress. So I think wood carving is one of the many things which can serve to just balance things out a bit. It's by asking us to drop out from the modern world momentarily, pick up some old tools and a piece of wood and get lost in making something with your own hands. Spoons are such a great place to start because they're so easy. You just dig out a bowl and fashion a handle, just a few tools, you do it with fallen branches or offcuts from your local joinery. It's a very sustainable craft. You take someone else's waste material and transform it into an object of lasting beauty. And so the tree's life goes on. And of course, each piece of wood is completely unique, with its own character. You can't just force it into shape, it requires sensitivity and cooperation, reverence even, for this living material. You have to respect the flow of the grain, pay close attention to how it responds, and then alter your carving to adapt to it. A real relationship takes place and it can become a beautiful dance. It's meaningful to me to be able to pass on some of the skills that I've learned from other carvers. It just helps keep the craft alive, especially with things like carving that have a therapeutic effect. I love knowing I've helped someone's journey begin with carving. It means a lot to me that students can go on to use their spoons too, that they may serve as a reminder of what they experienced on the day, the conversations and mutual feelings or even as a symbol of self-care. It's a tool with which you nourish yourself and serve others with. Probably one of the oldest and most important tools we have. A lot of these students were particularly environmentally conscious too and interested in sustainability and taking care of the planet. I've often felt that your first connection to the planet is through yourself. You're a manifestation of nature and require great compassion in order to thrive and be able to do good, do good to others. So I think one way we can do this is just turning your phone off and get carving. Let yourself calm down and become present and just take pleasure in creativity. It can be a really quiet, solitary thing or, like we're doing here, very social. And so the students Finish off their work with the knife, getting it refined, doing the detail, and start to leave a nice, nice surface with the sandpaper and the oil it with linseed oil, ready to use. Oh, they look so good. They look amazing. You guys should be so yeah, proud, man. This yeah. is wicked.